Hey you guys, so I'm here in the garden and I just got back from the nursery again, go figure. I decided to go ahead and try to finish this area out today. So I went and got some additional plants. Um, I think that I got some really good selection here. So I will show you everything that I have. What I've got, first thing I found was this, this plant here, this is called a I can't pronounce that, so I'm not going to try, but it's very pretty, and I may put it in here. It will definitely go with the theme here, but it may go in a different part of the garden. I'm not quite sure yet as to where I want to put it, but I think it'll ultimately go in here. So that's this plant. And then I also found some impatience. These I'm just going to stick in the front here, there'll be a good filler for the front part, or for this front row right here. And I also have some sedum. This one is called Angelina. I couldn't find any lemon coral uh, sedum. That's what I wanted to use. But this is honestly close enough. Uh, the point of having something like this is to brighten up uh, a space such as this so that you can more easily see it from the street. So with the inclusion of some more of the bright green foliage like on a plant like this, with um, variegated hostas and the Persian shields in the back, it will really give a good pop. So I got some of that. And of course more Persian shields. These are a very interesting plant. If you grow them for the foliage, they do have blooms, but the blooms primarily don't show up in a zone that's, I think, less than 10. So if you're in a zone 7, like I am, I think I'm in 7A, um, this is not going to bloom. But you're not growing it for the blooms, you're growing it for the foliage. And look how, look how great that is. So I want to put a bunch of these in the back, uh, two more actually, and that'll give me some nice structure. Um, and then I'm going to also plant this unnamed purple butterfly bush thing. I have to, it's kind of embarrassing, I don't know the name of this, but when I saw it, I just had to have it. I didn't care what the name of it was. I just needed a shade loving plant that was purple and this is what I had. This is what I found. So that's what is gonna go in next and you can see there how pretty those are. It looks like butterflies. The, the foliage looks like butterflies, so. And it's got some really interesting blooms there as well. So I'll put that here, I believe. And earlier today, I planted some Pieris. Uh, I found two types that I'm going to incorporate into this garden. This one right here is called um, uh, Purity. So I'll give you a closer look. The blooms on this, this, this is an evergreen and it does bloom with white blooms. And I think that'll go nicely with the purple foliage in the back here. And also, I have another Pieris. This one is called Prelude. They are both uh, evergreens. They both bloom white. And this particular kind here is, a, I believe, a dwarf type. So it'll only get to about two to three feet tall and wide. So this is really kind of my favorite one back here. I really like this, this Pieris. Um, the other one has a little bit of growing to do, but I think it'll turn out well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff in the ground and we'll see how it looks.
Okay guys, I just finished. Everything is in the ground. I'm pretty pleased with how everything turned out. I think uh, once maybe everything gets settled a little bit, um, some of the impatience will perk up. Some of them look a little bit wilty right now. But we just had a really hot day today um, and it's projected to be pretty hot for the next few days. So I'll just have to keep an extra eye on them. Also, I chose not to use one of the plants in the garden. Um, I didn't really see any room for it, so I'm not going to put it in there. Um, but I think everything came out well.